Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video, we are going to discuss about the input function with evaluated function. So Python provides a distinct feature for taking input from the user using eval function, which considers the data type according to the nature of the input provided. So this eval function will basically identify the nature of input that has been provided by the user and it used to convert a string representing a numeric expression into the evaluated numeric value or a float value. So let's see how we can use this eval function with the input function. So let's say that if I need to take an integer input value from the user, so I'm going to create a new variable which is integer input value and in this I'm going to use this eval function within this eval function I'm going to use the input function within this input function I'm going to write please enter your age and then I'm going to print the integer this integer input value and also I'm going to print, print the type of this integer input value. So type of this integer input value. So now if I run this, you will see that the first thing that Python is asking for the user input, right? So please enter your age. So I'm putting 25. The moment I press enter, you will see that we're getting 25 as the output and class as integer. But you remember that input usually takes the string. Whatever input that you will give, it will convert it into a string. Well, this evaluate function or this eval function will judge the nature of the input that has been provided by you and then it will change it or typecast it into the appropriate data type. So similarly, if I have to take, let's say that if I have to take your weight, okay, so instead of this integer input value, I'm going to create a, another variable, which is, which is float input value. And I'm going to say, please enter your weight. And again, I'm going to provide the string input value within this string input value I'm going to give evaluate then input and then please enter your name right so I'm just gonna copy this part and put it over here three times and I'm gonna copy this float input value and put it over here Again, I'm going to copy to this string input value and put it over here. Now, if I run this, the first thing again that we have to give is the input for our age. So 25, then the next input that Python is asking me to enter my age. So let's say I'm putting 65.8 kgs. Now, if I press enter, so now Python is asking me to give my name. So within a single code, I'm just going to give Atul Anand, okay, and I'm going to press enter. You will see that Python is printing the integer input value first, which is 25, then it's printing the type, which is integer. For weight, it's putting 65.8 and the class is float. For a string, it's printing my name and then it's printing the class as a string. So you have seen that this eval function converts the string representation of this numeric values or float values on the run and gives you the correct type as well as the values. So this is how basically you can use the eval function with the input function to take the input from user and convert the string representation to a numeric or a float value. Happy learning and see you in the next video.